So today's little sequence is trying to open up the hip flexors, um, the psoas, which is a muscle that runs across the thigh up through the hip um, and then attaches at the back of the ribcage. Um, these muscles with a lot of forward bending can become quite tight um, and so this is a really gentle um, 10 minute stretch in order to open up the front of the body. Um, with this you want to keep a long lower back so that you're not over arching, crunching your vertebrae into each other and you want to lift up the chest, lift the chin, roll the shoulders down the back so you get this lovely opening at the front of the body enabling you to really use your inhale to expand into the front of the body. So we're going to start by coming into a child's pose. So literally just dropping down onto your heels, hands outstretched in front of you. And then let the head drop down. And just take a few deep breaths here. Just trying to connect to your breath. Breathing deep breaths into the back of the body. And just allowing the body to soften. So we'll take one more deep breath there. And then rolling up onto your knees. From here, if you bring your knees wide apart. Um, I might come further forward on my mat. Bring your knees wide apart. Um, lift your hips up a little bit and tuck your bum under so you're not coming into a back bend. You're then going to press the thighs forward away from you. This might be plenty here. You're going to lift up, open up the front of the body. So the hip flexors are starting to open, the quadriceps, the psoas. You might stay here, and this is plenty, breathing here. Or you might feel you're okay to drop back onto your forearms and stay there, keeping the neck long. Or you might feel okay to come like the whole way back and maybe reach the arms up above the head. But whichever stage you come to is perfect. So wherever you are, breathing there for three slow, deep breaths. Expanding the body um, on the inhale and then pressing the thighs forward towards the front of the mat on the exhale. Breathing there for two. And then on one, we're going to roll back up again. Lifting all the way back up and we'll come up onto all fours. So on all fours, you want your hands directly underneath your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And we're just going to do some hip circles. Um, reaching the hips around in really over-exaggerated movements to release through the pelvis and just to get a good bit of blood flow through the hips and then change direction, reaching out the other side. Try and go with the breath, so exhale as you drop down, inhale as you lift up. Brilliant. And then back to the centre. From here, stretch the arms out in front of you. Stretching through the front of the body, drop the chin or your forehead down on the ground and imagine you're pulling your fingertips back towards you. And then breathing into the upper back, into the chest and the shoulders. Couple of deep breaths there, stretching out the upper body. And then if you bring your hands back towards you, one more just to open up the front of the body. A little bend in the elbows, inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders open. And as you exhale, round the back, drop the head down. Inhale, lift the chest, pull the hands towards your knees. And as you exhale, that rounding, pressing into your heel, the heel of your hands. Two more of those in your own time. Exhale to round. From there, we're going to come up to kneeling. We're going to have the knees hip width apart and tuck your toes under. You want the hips to push forward so you have a long lower back and your left hand onto your left hip and then reaching the hand over. Now this here might be plenty opening up through the right side of the body as you press the right knee down or you might feel okay to drop your left hand onto your left heel and then stretch over from there. But either one again is perfect. Breathing there for three. Deep breath for two. And then on one, drop your bum to your heels, change sides. Either bring your hand to your hip or your hand to your heel. And then extend up and away. Press the left knee down so you can really open up through the front of the body. Breathing into that left side with a long lower back for two. 
One more deep breath there. Great. And then lifting back up, bring your hands onto your hips. I'm going to step the right foot forward. So I have quite sensitive knees, so I quite like just bringing a, um, um, a blanket underneath them. But you could fold your mat over or just see what feels okay. Bring your hands onto your thighs, keep a long lower back. And then we're going to slowly bend the front knee. What you don't want is just to sink down, so you want to keep lifted, keep the muscles squeezing into the midline. Again, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, opening up the whole of the front of the body. Again, the shoulders roll, the chin lifts. You press the front foot forward, and then breathing there, a few slow deep breaths for three. For two, lifting up, maybe arching back a little bit. You could even pull your hands back for two. And one more deep breath there. From there, if you bring your hands back onto your thigh, press yourself back up so your um, shoulders are directly above your hips and your knee. Your right hand is going to come onto your hip, and then the left arm is going to arch over. You might find it easier to lean your forearm onto your thigh, just see what feels good. And extending through that left side, breathing there, a couple of deep breaths. Brilliant. From there, dropping down, both hands are going to come to the inside of that right foot. We're going to come back onto all fours. Bring the right hand underneath the right shoulder and then open yourself out into a side bend. So your right hand is directly underneath your shoulder. Your lower back is lengthened. Your hips push forward, the belly pulls in. And then one more opening, reaching the left fingertips forward, pulling the top hand back. And as you press that back heel down, you're then breathing those long deep breaths all the way through the left side of the body. Again, opening the hip flexors, the hips, the psoas, the, the external oblique alongside the stomach, and then see if you can use your inhale to breathe into that area for two. And then on one, come back onto all fours, and just swing your hips from side to side a couple of times, just to loosen out the lower back. Now coming onto the other side. So from kneeling, grab your blanket, um, drop your knee onto the blanket, step your left foot forward, hands are going to come onto your shin to start with, get a long lower back, and lengthen up nice and tall, and then slowly sink forward, stretching open through the right side of the body, but the long lower back, the chest might lift, the shoulders roll open, that front foot presses quite firmly down, and that long slow breath expanding into the front of the body. And if you then press yourself back up, once you've taken enough breaths there, pause the video if you need longer. Left hand to your hip, and the right hand is going to stretch up and over, or your forearm can rest on your thigh. And just take your time finding the position, extending the fingertips over, and then breathing through that right side, releasing the right hip. A couple of deep breaths there. And then lifting back up when you've had enough, coming back onto all fours, bringing your left hand down onto the ground, straightening your right leg up. Let's come up the mat a bit. Left hand directly under your shoulder. Point your left toes out behind you so that you have some balance. Push the hips forward and then reach the top hand up and over. So wherever you are, might be plenty or you can deepen it by pulling the top hand back. The lower back wants to be really long, really important to protect the lower back, and then breathing into the right side for three. Deep breaths for two. And then on one, come back round. Swing the hips from side to side. And then drop down into your child's pose. And just take a few slow deep breaths into your child's pose, allowing this forward fold. Allowing the softening of the muscles at the front of the body. And just letting go a little bit. 